A protest was staged by those who are often forgotten, demanding increased aid for the disabled in Israel. A traffic jam at the entrance to Jerusalem is something that affects drivers coming in and out of the capital. For a few hours Tuesday evening, the entrance to the city was blocked by protesters confined to wheelchairs. The representatives of the Handicapped Association have been holding a strike outside the Ministry of Social Affairs and Social Services for nearly 50 days. The handicapped are demanding disability insurance be tied to the cost of living index. We're protesting the fact that the state has abused the handicapped for almost 50 years. We're here to strike because our welfare, we live off 2,000 shekel a month. It's nothing, you cannot buy nothing with very expensive economic situation in Israel. So because that we strike. I want to live with dignity. We want at least the minimum wage. There are many expenses for the handicapped, medicines and more. We won't continue to restrain our demands. As mentioned, the strike has been taking place for almost 50 days already. However, the struggle has largely remained out of the headlines and public awareness. And so, more drastic measures were necessary. We closed up all the street and we, we want everybody be with us and we want to win in this, in this striking. Already 45 days were in the protest tent near the ministry. Not one person came down to see us and meet us. And so, I really apologize to the public, but we are now shutting down this state. God forbid, we do not want to harm anyone. But we're being harmed. The responses to the road blocking were mixed. Drivers who were upset came out of their cars to demand the road be opened. Pedestrians joined the protest and expressed support. And the police were friendly and patient, trying to open the road without upsetting the already furious protesters. One thing's sure, whether by being angry or sympathizing, People who were at the entrance to Jerusalem Tuesday evening learned about a social struggle they might have been unaware of.